A California bill is on the table that would ban stores from displaying children's clothes and toys in separate boys and girls sections. Once this revised bill goes into effect, children's sections at large retailers like Target are going to look quite different. Maybe one of these one. Assembly Bill 1085 to ban stores from displaying children's clothing and toys in separate boys and girls sections. The bill was introduced by Bay Area Assemblyman Evan Lowe in February, requiring stores with more than 500 employees like Target, Marshalls or Macy's to display children's clothing and toys in one undivided area of its sales floor. I am a parent of a trans child. Parents sparked the conversation. I still am in favor of combining things and then people can choose. I think it's a wonderful idea to smoosh um, girl boy stuff together. Some ask why change it? Just because it has a male and female designation doesn't mean that you can't walk to, you know, a, a, a male toy and vice versa. The bill that was introduced last month was amended and finalized in March. Clothing was taken out. Clothing will remain separate in boys and girls sections. Stores that don't comply would face fines up to $1,000. Soon you will find toys, hygiene and home items in a combined section, as you would find board games, books and bikes. The revised bill will be introduced April 1st, and according to Assemblyman Evan Lowe's office, this bill will go into effect by January 2024. Come January 1st, some retail stores across California will need to designate a gender-neutral section for toys or else face being fined. In 2021, Governor Newsom signed legislation to have a gender neutral section for children. The bill states that stores failing to comply could face a fine up to $500. The legislation applies to California retail department stores that has 500 or more employees. And that legislation comes shortly after some stores and brands faced widespread criticism and calls for boycotts over LGBTQ plus items sold during Pride season. All right, Harley, are the kids ready? Are we ready to ready? kick off the countdown? Five, Five four, four, three, two, two one. one. Happy holidays, Happy holidays. California! Governor Newsom moved the public Christmas tree lighting event online over planned pro-Palestine protests. It would have featured business stands and concert performances, but instead was a pre-recorded live stream in the entire state capitol building lawn where the tree is located has been blocked off. Well, it was the governor that kept kids on Zoom school for longer than any other state in the nation. We shouldn't really be surprised that he wanted to move this to a virtual tree lighting ceremony. This is a tradition that dates back to the 1930s. I got you. <laughs> We're done.